Uh, we develop affordable housing. We have been in business since 1992. We started as a small not-for-profit who would partner on developments with for-profit developers. Through the developer fees that we might get from those developments, we help people uh, with financial assistance to pay utilities, medical bills, those sorts of things. So that's the kind of our first part of our business was starting as a uh, source for folks who couldn't meet their bills. The first property where we had supportive housing is Water's Edge, where we're sitting today. When we started working with developers, the Burton Foundation was our very first um, developer um, that we talked with. Tracy Manning um, and uh, her looking into helping us uh, and us helping them in getting a tax credit property in the South Elgin area uh, was a great opportunity. Uh, they worked with us closely for us to develop the plans of how this would work, um, how many hours we'd need to be here, how many uh, staff we would need to have, um, right down to um, how many apartments and um, what we could do to support the other people that lived in these apartments as well. When people think about affordable housing, they think of Section 8, and as a realtor, Nobody really um, wanted to have Section 8 in the community because they felt that the value of their homes would go down. As for Water's Edge, the building, the feedback from the community has been, you've proved us wrong. That's what I hear time and time again. You've proved us wrong. I never knew it would be this nice. And I have a lot of people that live in the community that are trying to get um, some of their family members here to live. It was really the Illinois Housing Development Authority's uh, mission to provide supportive housing in the state of Illinois. Uh, they were trying to figure out a way to get units for supportive housing in with LIHTC developments. We decided to complete Water's Edge with a handful of uh, supportive housing units through um, the SRN process, the statewide referral network, and it was mostly driven by Ida. So we were just following in their footsteps of this is what you would like to do. They laid out the plan and we followed it. AID, we work together as a team. AID has a separate wing where they have the caseworkers and they have a um, nurse that would be here on site. So they have a medical examining room and, um, and their own offices where they meet with their clients. So they have their own privacy. We just could not afford anymore to buy group homes or build HUD developments. Uh, we didn't have the startup money and uh, it was just, it, it, it just kind of all fell in place. Uh, once we met with the developers, we also um, then um, drew up contracts. They asked us what kind of um, services we would provide. Um, they also uh, told us of some services that they would like us to provide for all the people in the apartments, not just the people that we would serve in the apartments. Uh, it has been a great partnership. Uh, I think we're in now nine, uh, we have nine offices in uh, tax credit properties, but we are in 32 different um, properties uh, with about 159 people, I believe it is. When we first started working with uh, the property managers and the people at Water's Edge, uh, we, we had a lot of learning to do. They had a lot of learning to do with what our, our clients needed and what we needed um, from them. We made sure that we talked with each other about any problems that arose. Uh, not that there were many, but we had a few, and um, we decided that um, we would make sure that um, the directors of the, of the programs would come in and talk with them um, once a month and they, they would, everybody could find out. And that has helped us throughout all the other tax credit properties. Now we can tell almost all the other developers what's going to be um, happening with them, how many people we can help them get uh, leased up with. And um, it, it's been a great, um, a great partnership with, with all the developers that we're working with.